I mean, it's surreal. It feels like a dream. It still feels like we're just playing another game. I still kind of can't believe it a little bit. It's awesome. It feels like everything that we've been putting into the program, it's just it's all paying off. We knew they were good, you know, but I can honestly tell you that I didn't envision how special this year would become. I mean, I knew we had a big group of seniors. I knew that we all wanted to make history, and now we're here. Let's go! I think there was a little bit of uncertainty. We didn't make it last year. I mean, we just kept playing, we kept working, and I think that's just led into the season, and we've just kept playing all year. I don't know, we pull some crazy things off and I think it's through the toughness and the, just the chemistry through the groups. It just comes down to heart. I think this team has more heart than anybody that we've played so far. We play hard. We're going to come in, we're going to hit you, and we're going to make that known every Friday night. Every single week, somebody coming to try to knock us off. Yeah, you just got to keep fighting. The NBL was really good this year. Philo was a great team, Sheridan, John Glenn. I mean, it wasn't like we were just playing podunk teams. I mean, we had to fight every week this year. Honestly, after that second half in Sheridan, we really just, we became a new team. It wasn't until Chris Masaros made the interception and returned it for a touchdown that you saw a spark kind of back in our guys. And really from that point forward, uh, we played good football the rest of the year. I think we just prepare and then everyone just steps up and makes plays in the big moments. I think that's where the defense really came together in that game too. I think it all starts with Nathan to be honest. I think without him we wouldn't be where we're at. It's a lot to do with the preparation. It's a lot to do with us trusting the guy beside us knowing that they're going to get their job done. Effort's going to win every time over talent and we definitely go out and we put every single thing that we have. I mean we always say that we're going to put it on the line and that's what we do. They just play hard. I mean, it's more than anything, it's effort. It's a really intelligent group. It's a, it's a high IQ group uh, that, that really understands where they're supposed to be and where they're supposed to fit. And, and they've just played incredibly disciplined. I think the secret is him putting us in position to compete at the highest level. He does so much scouting. He knows when we should blitz, when we shouldn't, a bunch of tendencies. We know each other so well. I mean, we just, we, we play great together. I mean, we mesh. It's just, it's, it's one unit when we're on the field. This like whole senior group is just a, just a collection of leaders. I think all the underclassmen are feeding into it, and I think that's why we're playing a state championship game. I think that's why we've done special things all season and been a special group. Uh, it's just, our whole class is just a bunch of leaders. It's been a lot of fun the whole ride through the playoffs. You know, it's been different each and every week. I said, that's the strange thing about it. I mean, we go down 18-7 against Marion Franklin and to find a way to come back and win. The next week, the offense really picks up the defense. Uh, we give up 30 points and, and find a way to get a goal line stop and, and then back-to-back -back terrific defensive performances. I love being underdog. We've been underdog five weeks straight in the playoffs. We already have a lot to play for every week, and then that just gives us a little more boost. I didn't have words last week. This is the group that's taken our program to the state championship game. Unbelievable, let's go! I wouldn't trade it for anything. There's nothing better than walking into a game and having, in this situation, the whole state doubting us. You know, it's great for our community who supported us for a long time. And even before I was here and, and they didn't win a lot of football games, I think they have great community support. And for our community to be able to share in, in this and, and be a part of this and the excitement that's surrounding the school and the community, uh, it's something special, and I'm, I'm glad we're, we're able to, to help give it to them. You appreciate the community. I mean, we go anywhere as a football team, and our stands are full. Like, everyone is supporting us and always having our backs and always just being there for us. It's just another element to our game that you can't really match. We were talking about it today at practice. It's going to be really special. Walking into a stadium full of people, and it's not just any regular high school stadium. It's crazy. It's a dream come true. Like you think about it as a little kid, you know. And we've always, we've always said it. I mean, middle school, we'd say like, oh well, our senior year we'll go to state. I mean, I mean, you wake up a lot of emotions and. 
kind of got to let it build, and I mean, this this game's it it's for everything. It gives me chills whenever I think about it to play at the level that we're playing at on the stage that we're going to be playing. I mean, Saturday night prime time. It's it's going to be amazing. We're grateful to be to be with each other one more week. This team, it's it's like no other, and I'm I'm grateful. I have my brothers beside us going more one more time. It's going to be special, it's going to be exciting. Uh, we're going to have to try to keep our, our own emotions in check and, and try to go out and play and execute the best we can.